Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Let's have a look at this one. 3, comma, x, comma, x plus 6 are the first three terms of a geometric sequence of positive terms. Find 1, the value of x, 2, the 10th term of a sequence. Okay, they've told us a geom it's a geometric sequence. Okay, let's go back to our theory page. What can we use for it? Okay, so what we're going to use is the fact that in a, a, a geometric sequence, T2 over T1 is equal to T3 over T2. Okay, um, because we have three terms, T1, T2, T3 in our sequence. So we're going to play with this and see if we can solve for X. Okay, so let's write down that bit of theory. In a geometric sequence, T3 over T2 is equal to T2 over T1, okay? Or of course, the other way around. So let's put them in. T3 is X plus six over T2 is X is equal to T2 over T1. OK, equals to sits in the middle. So the easiest way to do it is to cross multiply. And you can see me drawing in the red X's. So that means, so, so f f follow the cross. So three times X plus six is equal to X times X. OK, follow this cross. OK, so I get three X plus 18 is equal to x squared. Let me form my quadratic because that's exactly what this, this is. So I'm going to bring everything over that side and get x squared minus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. OK, so the factors of minus 18, if you want to do a factorization, of course, you can do it with the minus b formula. So I have um, minus 1 by 18 or 1 by minus 18. 2 by minus 9 or minus 2 by plus 9, 3, 6, 12, 18 or minus 3 by 6, 4, 5, and that's it. Okay, so then you ask yourself, all of these meet the requirement of the factors of minus 18 to figure out which is the right one, which ones of which row sums to give minus 3. So not that, that's 17, 17, 7, 7. Okay, so it's going to be one of these two. So which one of them gives me minus 3? It's that one there. Minus 6 plus 3. Okay, so let's factorize. Split the x squared into its factors, which is x and x. Split the minus 18 into its factors and choose the right one. So I have plus 3 minus 6. OK, I just filled the factors straight from here and then solve. So to solve, you split the factors and let equal to zero. So x plus three is equal to zero. X is equal to minus three. X minus six is equal to zero. X is equal to six. So there are two possible answers for X, OK, that meet this type of a sequence. Um, it says it's a sequence of positive terms. So if x was minus 3, he would be 0 in the middle. And then I would have minus 3 plus 6. Yeah, so it's going to have to be this one here to ensure that I have positive terms. OK, so my sequence then is 3 comma x comma x plus six so three six twelve and so on so forth is my geometric sequence i have to find the tenth term so i'm going to establish a formula for um, tn and to do that i am using the tnth formula from the log tables for a geometric sequence tn is the nth term a is the first term or is the common ratio. So A is the first term. Where did I write out my sequence here? So three 
what is R? Okay, well, R is equal to T2 over T1, okay? Remember what we said R was, or T3 over T2, it doesn't really matter. So it's six over three, so R is equal to two. Okay, so my R is two and N minus one. So if I'm working out the 10th term, it's T10, so N takes on the value 10. Okay, so let's put him into the calculator for yourself. So you have to do the rules of BOMDAS, you have to do the power first. So it's three by two to the power of nine. Sorry, three multiplied by two to the power of nine. And I have one, five, three, six being the 10th term. Okay, and that's doubling the values all the time because our R is two. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision, and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.